From the Upco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is a Cable Motors OU update with Travis Haney. I'm Jenny Carlson. Travis, let's talk a bit about Landry Jones after that OU Texas game. 31 of 50. You say that's a little misleading, though. Yeah, I, you look at 19 incompletions and you say, well, well, how did that happen? A lot of those were throwaways. He had a lot of pressure in his face. Not all afternoon, but he knew when to get rid of the ball. He's pretty good at that. Also, uncharacteristically, probably about a half dozen drops or so. I'm in the process of counting them up watching the video, but I'd say between six to eight drops by his receivers, some typically sure-handed guys making drops. So you add those two things together, and I think that was a little bit misleading. What you need to take away from this game is the fact that Landry was very good. Uh, he made the decisions to change plays at the line, depending on what he saw from Manny Diaz and Texas's defensive fronts. They knew they were going to be a little shifty, a little tricky, but Landry was always ready for that. I remember one play. Uh, second shorty dumps off a little screen pass to Jazz Reynolds against a very heavy blitz. Also, the third and 25 play. I don't right. know if you saw that one, yeah. but he made a change in the last probably eight seconds on the play clock to a four vertical set, finds Jazz Reynolds again down the sideline for a big catch, and that really just kind of demoralized, I think, Texas' defense early in the second quarter. Well, and this performance on a big stage, national television, puts Landry Jones right back in the Heisman conversation, if he ever left it in the first place. Now they go out Kansas and Texas Tech, a couple teams. I mean, he, you talk about 300-plus yards. He could have 600-plus yards maybe right. against some of these teams. That's maybe a little overstating it. Yeah. But he's in the Heisman hunt now. Oh, there's no question. I think Texas maybe isn't as much as uh, ESPN or some people made them up to be last week. But the fact that it happened in a national spotlight game, game day was there. There were a lot of national uh, writers and attention on that game. For him to play as well as he did and make the throws that he did, I think it absolutely elevates his name in the conversation. Andrew Luck, this is still his award to lose, but the fact that Landry could kind of close some in on him because Stanford really hasn't played anybody yet in the season and will play very few tough games. So I think the better Landry can play in those bigger games, the better off he'll be in terms of New York. All right, thanks. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.